Hi, this is JB from Not Lights Over Arkham. Welcome to another Hero Pack Focus, where we look at the cards that come in a Hero Pack, and this time we are looking at the cards that come in the Valkyrie Hero Pack that just came out. So, let's get started. Okay, and uh, let's start looking at the cards that come in the Valkyrie Hero Pack. So, uh, Valkyrie comes with the pre-built uh, aggression aspect deck, so uh, aggression pre-builds have famously been a bit hard on the true solo gaming uh, circuit, so I'm hoping this has a positive uh, uh, exception for that, so this hoping this will function well in uh, true solo, but we'll see, of course, when I try that the pre-build out later. So, uh, first off, we have the Brunhilde, which is the Alter Ego side of Valkyrie. Uh, Brunhilde has uh, 4 recovery, uh, Asgard trade, set up, set the death glow, upgrade aside, out of play, uh, not this day, action, detach death glow and set it aside, out of play. So, what is death glow? Well, we'll see in a moment, but first let's look at the hero side. Oh yeah, and... Uh, Hand size 6, hit points 12. So on uh, hero side we have Valkyrie, 1 war, 2 attack, 1 defense, Asgard, Avenger, created, uh, Death Perception, uh, Hero Action, play the set aside Death Blow upgrade as if it were in your hand. And hand size 5 and 12 hit points. So um, I think at least we don't have that problem uh, of low hand size with uh, Valkyrie, so hoping that will <laughs> be of use when we are trying to play through solo, uh, but we'll see. And of course, well, that is the hero card outside, so let's look at what the Death Glow card does. Mm, Death Glow is a one cost upgrade, it's a condition attached to an enemy. Forced interrupt, when attached enemy is defeated, set this card aside out of play. If Valkyrie defeat, uh, defeated that enemy, ready her. So, playing the Death Glow on an enemy, uh, first off, lets you ready if you basic attack and kill that enemy. And um, uh, it will uh, trigger other cards in the Valkyrie uh, set. So, we'll look at those cards a bit more later. But that is Death Glow, so it starts out of play and you can play it as if it were in your hand when you're in hero mode. Uh, next, uh, we have uh, Annabelle Riggs. Annabelle is a 2 cost ally with 1 forward and 1 attack. Civilian, 2 health. Uh, alter Ego Aggression. Uh, I'm seeing, uh, Alter Ego Action, I mean. Uh, exhaust Annabelle Riggs. Search the top 5 cards of your deck for a Valkyrie card and add it to your hand. Shovel the rest back into your deck and uh, Annabelle can be committed as a... Uh, um, wild resource so yeah well this this helps us get the right valkyrie cards on the right at the right time when you are in alter ego ready to bounce into hero mode for example but two health is uh not that great but well it's a you can use it uh head up to hero mode and jump block with annabelle because she is an ally and not a support Uh, then we have Valhalla. Valhalla is a 2 cost support. Uh, Asgard location traded. Response after Valkyrie attacks and defeats an enemy that has the death glow attached. Exhaust Valhalla. Draw one card and heal one damage from Valkyrie. And this can be committed as a, a mental resource. So, an interesting support because it, uh, I, there are not that many supports that. The, you can use uh, at least from the hero specific uh, cards that you can use in hero mode, but this is an exception to that. So, uh, Valkyrie seems to be a whole lot of uh, defeat enemies and get benefits from that. So, this um, functions well in that uh, playstyle. Then uh, we have uh, Valkyrie's Spear, it's a one cost upgrade, Asgard weapon, restricted. Uh, which means only two restricted cards per uh, hero can be played. Uh, Valkyrie gets plus one defense, 
plus two defense instead while defending against the enemy with the death blow attached and this can be committed as a physical resource so again we get more boost if we have the uh, death glow uh, attached to an enemy so that is useful uh, next we have the other restricted weapon so uh, dragon fang is a one cost upgrade asgard weapon restricted Valkyrie gets plus one attack, plus two attack instead while attacking the enemy with the death glow attached. And Dragon Fan can be committed as a physical resource. So, same as with the Valkyrie Spear, but for attack. So, this is a good, good card to get into play. Then uh, we have another upgrade. It, it, it is Aragorn, uh, not the one from uh, uh, Lord of Rings, but uh, from other mythology i think so uh two cost upgrade uh asgard creature traded valkyrie gets plus four hit points and gains the aerial trait and this can be committed as a mental resource so uh hit point boost and uh you get aerial which will trigger some keywords on some cards that have been coming out lately so not that excited well the plus four hit points is a fast heal but cost uh, I'm, I'm not that uh, excited about this card but it, I think it's okay uh, we have another upgrade there are actually two copies of this upgrade so flight of the Valkyrie is a two cost upgrade response after the enemy with death glow is defeated discard flight of the Valkyrie remove five threat from a scheme so uh, this is an interesting way to a combo threat removal for a hero that is basically just killing uh, minions. So uh, you attach the death claw on an easy minion, play this and defeat that minion and trigger a bunch of stuff and remove some threat and seems okay. Well two cost is a bit steep but we'll see. Uh, next uh, we have a zero cost event, visit Valhalla. Uh, Alter Ego action, uh, return a Valkyrie card from a discard pile into your hand, and this can be committed as a physical resource. So, uh, an interesting card. Uh, well, uh, for example, if you are really desperate to get some threat removal, you can uh, fetch uh, Flight of the Valkyrie or out of your discard pile uh, into your hand in Alter Ego, then head up and uh, use that to remove some threat and etc. Well, uh, it's a combo card, so we'll see how that works. Uh, next we have a zero cost event, uh, Chooser of the Slain. There are two copies of this card. So, uh, it is a hero action, search the encounter deck and discard pile for a minion and put it into play, engage with you, draw two cards and this can be committed as a mental resource. So, uh, in, the, in the line of uh, many of other cards that put some minion into play and you get the benefit. So quite similar to Thor's uh, hero ability if you are engaged with a minion draw two cards but this you can play both of these uh, in a single turn to get a lot of cards so interesting uh, then we have shield maiden there are copies of this uh, shield maiden is a one cost event uh, hero interrupt when enemy with death glow attached attacks declare valkyrie the defender without exhausting her she gets plus two defense for this attack and uh, it can be committed as a physical resource so as i understand it when you are the defender and you are getting plus two defense you will add that plus two defense to your base defense so uh, you would have a three defense when playing this so interesting well it, it lets you defend your allies and uh, still uh, be able to attack next turn so Really looking forward to how this functions. Then uh, we have uh, have a thief. It's, it is a three cost event attack, hero action attack, deal seven damage to an enemy. If that enemy has death glow attached. This attack gains overkill, and this can be committed as a energy resource. So this is the big hitter of the set. There are actually three copies of this, and it is imperative to play the death blow on a low health minion when you are playing this so you can 
uh, spill the rest of the damage onto the villain, so you are not wasting damage. But of course, if there is a high uh, health minion in play, you can just defeat that minion with this. And you should remember that you can attack the villain straight on with this, but the uh, ability to overkill a minion is just flavor, so that you don't get overwhelmed with all of the enemies you are getting. And that is all of the uh, Valkyrie set uh, cards, so let's next look at the cards that come in the pre-build uh, aggression deck. Uh, first off, we have Thor. Uh, Thor is a uh, three cost ally with one four and two, uh, three attack. And notice the two consequential damage on the attack. Uh, Asgard and uh, Venture traded, three health, tough, toughness, and uh, interrupt. Uh, when Thor attacks, a minion engaged with a player, spend an uh, energy resource, resolve this attack against each minion engaged with that player in the order of your choice. So you can basically. Uh, try to wipe the board out of uh, enemies with Thor. So a pretty powerful board clearing ally. Uh, the toughness is interesting. You basically get a free swing on the first turn. You are deciding to use the toughness to not take any consequential damage. Uh, or you can just play Thor, defend and then hit once. Uh, and maybe defend again or hit a second time. But yeah. I think this is a good ally for the cost. Uh, next up we have another ally, uh, Throg. Uh, so Throg is a 2 cost ally, 1 for 2 attack. Uh, Asgard Guardian traded, 2 health. Response after Throg enters play, you give him a tough, tough status card if you are engaged with a minion. So again, comboing with Valkyrie's uh, playstyle of getting minions into play engaged with you. So you are getting the extra tough for uh, Throg. <laughs> Hard to say Thor and Throg, but yeah, it is what it is. Uh, next we have a reprint of Angela. So not talking about this card that much. It basically combos well with um, Valkyrie because you are uh, searching for a minion with it. Another reprint is Hall of Heroes. Of course, uh, Asgard flavored. So you want to get this in play, when you are visiting uh, Alter Ego, you will get a bunch of cards, so not talking about that that much. Uh, we are continuing with the uh, reprint, so two copies of combat training. Uh, then we have a new uh, event, it is Quick Strike, it is a two cost event. There is of course uh, three copies of this. Uh, it is an attack, hero action, attack, deal, damage to an enemy equal to and it is can be committed as a physical resource. So uh, this should work well with uh, Valkyrie's two attack and uh, ability to boost the attack to four with uh, Dragon Fang and uh, combat training, for example. So uh, I think that, that is an okay card, and you won't be exhausting. So that is interesting. Then we have uh, Smash the Problem. There is of course three copies of this. Uh, Smaster Problem is a one cost event. It is a fourth event, hero action for exhaust your hero, remove threat from a scheme equal to your hero's attack, and it can be committed as a mental resource. So I think this is a really interesting card for aggression players who want to boost their attack up by a lot. So I think even Hulk likes this. Uh, card a lot to be able to remove threat a, uh, more easily with the high base attack. So really liking that card. Uh, then we have the best of the best defense. Of course, three copies of this. It's a zero cost event. Hero interrupt defense. When your hero defends against an attack, use its attack instead of its defense for this attack, and it can be committed as a physical resource. So. Again, using your attack as another stat, so really liking these kinds of cards. I'm just hoping we will get something similar for, uh, for example, thwarting. So you could use your thwart for um, attacking or something like that. So you can really do a great uh, true solo uh, hero. 
Uh, then we have a reprint from uh, in Audacity. So max one per deck, and after you spend this card, uh, deal one damage to the villain. Uh, we got this in the Mad Titan Shadow. Then two copies of Power of Aggression. So th that is all of the aggression cards. Uh, let's look at the basic cards that are in the pre-build. So we have uh, the Bifrost. The Bifrost is a one cost for four Asgard location. Play only if your identity has the Asgard trait. Action exhaust the Bifrost. Uh, Bifrost search your deck for an Asgard ally and play it, play, uh, paying its cost to shuffle your deck. And it can be committed as an energy resource. So combine well with Asgard allies. So I'm liking that lo uh, support location. Uh, then uh, we have uh, three copies of Godlike Stamina. Uh, so Godlike Stamina is a zero cost event. Play only if your identity has the Avenger trait action. Deal two damage from your identity. You may discard a status card from your identity, and this can be committed as a energy res uh, not uh, a physical resource. So um, a way to heal and get rid of like stuns and stuff like that. So really interesting card and lastly we have the three basic uh, resource cards so uh, that is all of the uh, car player cards that are in the pre-build uh, next let's look at the uh, obligation and the nemesis set so the obligation is uh, trouble in other world obligation give to the Heal the player. Uh, Valkyria cannot attack the enemy with death claw attacks. Alder Ego action spend uh, energy and um, mental resources. Remove trouble in other world from the game. So interesting. Uh, there is no way to just ignore this and uh, put it into the Discord. So you have to have those resources to get rid of this so interesting uh, obligation in my opinion then uh, we have the nemesis set and this is quite familiar looking so i think we got this set uh, in the mad titan shadow so it's the enchantress uh, it is um, minion to steam one attack asgard elite five health when revealed search and hunter deck discard pile Set aside area for a copy of Seduced and attach it to your identity. Shuffle. Uh, you can't fight what you want. Okay, well, uh, it, it has two boost icons, and um, I can't recall if this is identical to the Enchantress in the Mad Titan Shadow Enchantress uh, modular set, but it really looks uh, similar, so I'm uh, Guessing it is. Okay, and uh, then we have the Nemesis set side scheme. So powerful enchantments side scheme. Uh, hinder one, so you add one per player threat to this scheme when it comes in play. Players cannot discard attachments that are attached to friendly characters. And it comes into play with two plus the hinder one uh, threat. And it has two boost icons and also an acceleration uh, icon. So you really want to get rid of this when playing uh, aggression because you don't want any extra threat on the main scheme. So then we have another familiar card from the Mind of Shadow Beguiled. Uh, it is an attachment. Treat attached ally as enthralled. Minion with the blank text box. Attached minion scheme is equal to its pointed ward and it does not take consequential damage. Uh, when revealed, attached to the ally with the highest cost without wild attacks, attached ally engages with controller, otherwise this card can search. So this is a nasty card if you have a uh, high cost ally in play that is really hard to get rid of. So it turns into a minion and uh, is fighting against you then. So a really thematic card. Then uh, we have uh, the last two cards are two seduced, uh, seduced cards, so uh, it is an attachment attached to your identity. You cannot make basic attacks or play attack events. Alter ego action spend an 
energy elemental resources discard discard so this is really nasty for valkyrie so stop stopping you from attacking which is the main thing you are doing okay and uh, then uh, let's look at all the other aspect cards that come in this pack so first we have the justice card uh, problem solved for three copies of this uh, problem, sol uh, problem Solvers is a forecast event, a Dwarf Alliance, and Alliance is a newer keyword, meaning that all the uh, players can uh, combine forces to pay for the cost of this card. So if you're playing Alliance card with a forecast, you can pay for two, and other players can pay for two or whatever. So if the other players could also pay for it wholly. Uh, so Interesting mechanic, but not that <laughs> interesting for true solo. Uh, hero action for exhaust an adventure character and a guardian character. Remove uh, axe threat from each team where X is the equal to those combat for those characters. Okay. Well, it's an alliance card. Not that interested because not playing that much multiplayer. Uh, next we have the leaders of trading. Uh, this is actually max two per deck, so there are only two copies. And this is uh, a condition, one cost support uh, condition created. Uh, so max two per deck uses two training counters, alter eco action, exhaust this card and remove one training counter from it. Choose a leadership blue event in your discard file and shuffle it to your deck. So I think we already uh, got a similar card for uh, was it an aggression in a war machine but uh, yeah get good blue events from your discard back into your uh, deck or whatever then uh, we have the guardian card there are three copies of this so it is hunts asian one cost upgrade preparation so uh, it's preparation so <laughs> A uh, new card for Black Widow. Finally, some new cards. A uh, max one per player. Hero interrupt. When you engage a minion, discard this card. Ready your hero. Okay. And it can be committed as a uh, discard resource. So it's another preparation. Not that flashy, but I think there could be some interesting combos to have with that. Uh, last card in the deck is uh, basic uh, event. Cosmic Alliance. It is. Uh, there are three copies. Uh, it, it is three cost event alliance. The player, the players can pay this card cost as a group. Hero action: choose an Avenger character and a Guardian character. Ready each of those characters. It can be committed as a energy resource. So, another alliance card. Yeah, not talking about those that much, but an interesting mechanic for sure for multiplayer. So. That is all the cards that come in the Valkyrie Hero Pack. So I'm really looking forward to seeing how Valkyrie plays because uh, basically the uh, aggression pre-builds haven't been that well made or, or functioned that well in uh, True Solo before. So hoping Valkyrie is an exception for that. So I will be sleeving up the deck and uh, trying Valkyrie out soon. I still don't know which uh, Mini, uh, mi which villain I will be playing but we'll see when I get the first play video up so thanks for watching and until next time